You know me as Handsome Dick Manitoba, but you now know that once a week I metamorphosize. Metamorphosize. Like that? Five syllables. I metamorphosize into the chef of the future. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Once a week, Handsome Dick Manitoba program on YouTube changes into the chef of the future, where I'm going to show you my favorite recipes. You might know some of them. You know, it's nice to add different things on, make them yours. You make them yours. That's what an artiste is, and I'm an artiste. You know, I, inter I entertained you for 43 years with the Dictators. You know I entertained you for 14 years up at Little Stevens Underground Garage, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. You know I entertained you for people from all over the world in my bar 20 years on Avenue B. I'm an entertainer. That's what I do. I entertain you. So if you want a podcast just about every week, if you want a cooking show just about every week, and if you want me, whatever's on my mind, on YouTube regularly, I want you to go to handsomedickmanitoba.com and just press the button and throw a few shekels in. You know, a lot of people say, could you throw $5 a week in, $5 a month, and people don't like to pay for podcasts. I'm doing this punk rock, DIY, do it yourself. I'm doing it for my house with my iPhone. That's why things look cockeyed. Yeah, something just pops on my screen. So like, here's my kitchen, right? And I'm gonna make, well first, I wanna do a shout out, a very special shout out. Oh, excuse me, can of tuna fell out of the closet, almost hit me in the head. I wanna do a special shout out. There's a gym I go to called Blink, B-L-I-N-K. There's a whole bunch of them around, but the one I go to is East Village. Avenue A between 6th and 7th streets. I love the place. Even like you talk to people you don't know, like you don't go up and like, you know, hey baby, what's up? You know, you just go, hey, do you mind can you show me? You know, people are very nice. The people are nice. People who work there are great. And there's two guys that work there that are beyond great. They're magnificent. One of them is Jerry, and one of them is Emmanuel. Jerry and Emmanuel blink on Avenue B. They make me feel so good when I'm in the, in the gym, so wanted and appreciated. And any time I ask them to help me, they couldn't run fast enough to help me. And that's great. I'm, it's a block away from the house. Pandemic hasn't shut it down. You know, you certain amount of people could be in there at a certain amount of time. And that's it. Pretty safe. I'm still here. <laughs> By the way, every time I cook, Whenever I touch food with my hands, I want you to know I wash my hands at least once a week. Okay, time to show you my big, beautiful brown eyes and let you know what I'm making today. I'm making cornbread. What's interesting on the Jiffy box, it says Jiffy cornbread, John, and in parentheses, Johnny Cakes or Johnny Cake. I never heard the word Johnny Cake. It must be from the South or something. Speaking of the South, first let me tell you what I'm putting in, in, in this. Then I'll get to the South. I'm gonna put in your flour that comes. I'm gonna put in, instead of milk, third of a cup of milk, third of a cup of whole cream. I want this shit sweet and rich, like a rich piece of cake. Then I put in Creamed corn. Don't buy corn. Don't make a steak and buy plain nibbles, niblets of corn. And then I'm putting in, I'm trying something new. I never did this. That's what you got to do when you experiment, when you're an artiste like me, a chef artiste, a rock artiste. You got to experiment. You got to take chances. If it sucks, I won't add it next time. All right? Blueberries, blueberries. Got to have some blueberries. And another thing is, a lot of people might not like this tough shit. Jalapenos, baby, jalapeno. You know what's weird about jalapeno peppers? And I've gone through this a lot in my life. I buy, they, but they used to sell them loose, so you could pick out a few, three. Now they're selling by a package, like eight, and they're like this big. A lot of times the big ones, they're not hot. Sometimes they are, but sometimes they're not. You when you get home, I'm gonna have a jalapeno pepper, I'm gonna have a hot meal, spicy, and it's not hot. It's like the worst. Stupid jalapeno. All right, let's get going here. 
you rip open the jiffy. Yeah, rip it open. Come on, I'll rip. I mean, I'll rip. That's it. Rip. That's what the knives are for. Come on, man. In this world, nothing's fast enough, you know? I need a 1,000 MBPs, you know? Let me pay extra money so I touch the computer and it comes on. Remember we used to wait like 30 seconds for it to come on? We'd have a heart attack now. Now, talking about the hot food in the South, there was a guy who had a place called Greens and Things, Greens and Things, on like 12th Street, 1st Avenue between 1st and 2nd, years and years ago, old little black guy. He had like these, you know, the metal pans, and they had the water underneath, the hot water to keep the food warm all day. And then he had like the big serving ladle and he had baked chicken, smothered chicken, fried chicken, fish, co uh, cornbread, uh, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, and one or two other items. And it was so great, there was no chairs. And it wasn't like you can call up and, and get something ready to take out. You had to walk in the store, it was about 30 square feet, and you say, can I have some of that, can I have some of that? It was such a great store. It's one of those type of stores, like people talk about the Fillmore closing and CB's closing. I do too, of course, I live through it. But people don't talk about stores like that closing, greens and things. That's also what made this neighborhood special and great. Okay, so... As I learned from some French chef on TV, what's his name? Jacques Papin, something like that. He cracks, I just crack an egg, I always get an eggshell. He cracks it in the middle, right in the middle, gently opens it, and there's no eggshell in there. I love that. Okay, let's do this. Time for the whole milk. The uh, whole cream, I oh, whole cream is ridiculous. It's like once or twice a year. That, you know, otherwise, it's like a heart attack. Or you can whip it up and make some nice fresh whipped cream. Where's the third? There we go. Third of a cup. So we got the egg. Now we're going to get the, this is going to be all the moisture. You get the egg, you get your flour, you get one, you get two, you got two and a half, you get three, I'm gonna open up some more. I need five, I like five. You got four and you got five, okay? So you see what I put in there, right? Oh, jalapenos, jalapenos. Uh-oh, can't touch my penis. All right, so we got the flour, we got the egg, we got the jalapenos, we got the whole cream, and we got the creamed corn. So it's creamed corn, jalapeno, whole cream, cornbread. Oh, I got to start that all over. It's Cream corn, jalapeno, whole cream, blueberry, cornbread. Of course, let's get this. Let the mix. You got to incorporate it good because the, 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 a lot of the flour sticks on the bottom. But listen, I'm not going to hold it to the camera. Well, you just incorporate it, all right? Just do what I say. Just incorporate it. Make it a big family. They all know each other. Because every bite, you want to have like maybe like a like a, a smidgen of everything. You know what I mean? You want it sweet and rich. You want it maybe maybe a tiny taste of a jalapeno and, and the sweetness of a of a blueberry, which is one of the healthiest fruits in the world. I like to go I like to go around and I like to go across. But really just make sure. Okay. 
That's it. That's it. Now what we're gonna do, and you can do it your own way. You don't have to do this because I'm a friggin' animal. I'm gonna take a chunk of butter. It's really soft, this butter. And what I'm gonna do is wipe the butter around the pan. I really wanna make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Really, really, really. So I, I just, I love it. I love the feeling. <laughs> Something wrong with me. I love like, ah, nice soft butter in my hand. Gives me kind of ideas. You know, food, food and sex go together really well. I'm not talking about before or after either. Okay, so I really overdo it with the butter because I really don't want it to stick. So I go all the way up around the sides and make sure I coat the bottom. Okay, it's all coated. If you'll excuse me for a second, I'm one of those rare persons that like to clean up as they go along. I guess this is gonna be a really <laughs> boring part of the show because I'm leaving. I'll be right back. Get out of here. I feed my cats a certain way, okay? Because I've had cats that I let get so fat, they probably died two, three years before they needed to. So, one of my cats, Loki, named after, of course, Thor's evil half-brother, banished from Asgard, he had this hematoma. The thing coming out of his ear, it was like there was no hole in his ear. The, the skin came all the way out. And they wanted like $2,000 for an operation in the East Village. So I took them up to the, to the uh, you're gonna say the YMCA. <laughs> I took them up to uh, whatever, what the fuck is, I'm really losing my mind. Hold on. Hey Jake, where'd we take Loki to get fixed? Huh? Where'd we take him when he was sick? Thank you. I think I, I am starting to lose it. ASPCA. They were unbelievable. Unbelievable. They said the operation, operation is usually 800 bucks. I go, I'm not working. I'm like, you know, I don't really have it. She was like, you know, that was the doctor. Then I go outside. And the girl says, um, well, what could you afford? And I said, you know what? I'll throw 300 on my credit card. So I said, and she, and it's Christmas time. And, and, and she's looking at uh, Jake. And she looks at me. And, she, and I go, look, I, I could throw 300 on my credit card. And she goes, just give me $100. So I swore, I swore when my cash is running a little better. I'm definitely throwing a couple hundred dollars to the ASPCA, bless them. They fixed him. And the veterinarian said, this crunchy food, we give him wet food morning and night. Then we give him a, a crunchy food, like as a snack in the middle of the day, like it's five, six o'clock at night. She said, don't give him more than a tablespoon. That stuff is very fattening. So I gotta tell you, having, <laughs> having two cats on a diet, it's not easy. It's anytime I touch food or make food, they think they're getting food. <laughs> shut up. That's why you yelled, you heard me yell, shut up. They're like under your feet, waiting for something to drop. And the thing is, I'm being a good dad. I'm doing the right thing. They're gonna live longer. They might be miserable because they want to eat all the time, but they'll live longer. So which is better? Dying four years earlier and eating when you want. <laughs> I often ask myself this question, or being a responsible cat and eating properly. Hold on. 
Okay, let's pour this stuff in. I am now taking my kitchen appliance. <laughs> commonly called a whisk. I gotta share uh, a thought I have with you today. I, I might actually repeat this on my, my show. Oh, by the way, I forgot about the donation thing. Yeah, I told you everything I've done. You, you know, you don't mind, you go to sh buy a shirt, a t-shirt, you know, 12 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 23 bucks. Go to a concert, 25, 30 bucks for a t-shirt. I've been doing this 45 years. I entertain people. Now, here's the thing. If you are entertained, if you are, if you go, well, this guy's funny. I want to hear what he has to say. I want to see what he has to cook. I want to hear his, who he interviews. I want to hear what he has to say on, on YouTube. You don't like it, you shut it off. Oh, the next one was good. This one, you know, whatever. I'm going to do those three things. And I'm not a guy asking you for like, like HBO money, like $14.95 a month. You know what I'm asking you for, right? I want 2,000 dictator fans to send me 50 cents a week, which is $24 a year. If said dictator fans are broke, 25 cents a week. Now look, you move part of your couch over to sweep and you see a quarter. That could be a Manitoba quarter. You move the other part of the couch over and that's if you're broke and you see another quarter. Now if you're rich, you have two quarters, you send me $12 a year or $24 a year. Venmo, PayPal, Patreon. You go to handsomedickmanitoba.com and there's a donate button. And I appreciate it. Only if you like it. If you feel you're getting value for your 50 cents. If you really feel you're getting value, I want 2,000 dictator fans kicking in so I can keep doing this. And I'm going to tell you something else. I'm writing songs like a son of a bitch. I am writing songs. I have new people in my life to write songs with. And I'm really excited. My lyrics are flying out, and the people I'm working with, a little harder, a little more than the person I was working with, who's extremely talented. But I think this is gonna be better in a lot of ways. Anyway, so it's all this, and then I'm gonna be playing live. And forget it, then it's like $50. No, I'm always gonna be a cheap price, 12, 15 bucks to come see me, come on. Okay, so we put this in. I didn't finish yapping to you. So I finish. Come on, get out of there. Okay. I know that might have looked disgusting. Maybe you didn't see it on the camera, but uh, I gotta get all this stuff out of here, in here. Oven, 20 minutes, but I'll show you a trick. Ready for my trick? I don't like to lie. I have to tell you something. I was doing this before, and I took it out of the oven, and I had these really great rubber, rubber gloves. It didn't burn me. It's just like I grabbed it wrong and it fell out of my hand all over the floor. So this is the second time I'm doing it. What I really should do is at least show you that one minute of me going, fuck, when it fell out of the floor. It fell on the floor. Okay, here goes the same rubber glove. Wish me luck. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not leaving any stone unturned. Take two rubber gloves. And now, 
Okay. You see how it's almost done? You see how, if you can see the corners, I don't know if you can see the corners are like brown, all right? So it's almost done. It's yellow. Just, you could just visualize. You can visualize it turning brown. But what I like to do, and again, this is what nobody else does, is throw some more butter on it. Look at that. Look at that. You know why? Because the top is going to get... This is the idea. Taste is nice in food. But the sexuality, the sensuality, I should say, sensuality in food is texture. So what I like about, what I aim to do with this texture is have the top have a little bit of a crisp, buttery trip going on, while the middle is juicy from the cream corn and the milk, the whole cream. So see, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna massage. Then there's something else I have to teach you, and then we'll be done in about two or three minutes. What I have to teach you is there's a thing I call babysitting. Sometimes you have to babysit food. Like, you know, you can't, you can't leave pasta just going because it'll turn into like soggy noodles. You have to have it al dente. You have to babysit it. You have to come check it. Oh, shit. You know what you got to do eat when it's a little too al dente? Because if you're throwing it in sauce for a couple of minutes, you got to take it out a little too al dente. Oh, okay. 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 That's that. Now it's going back in the oven. I'm doing it with two gloves again. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna babysit it. Putting it right under the broiler, right? I'm gonna turn the broiler on low, okay? I hope I don't screw it up, but I'm gonna turn the broiler on low for two minutes. I think it's gonna come out right. Goes right to 10. It takes a few seconds for the boiler to turn on. Okay, in two minutes, the top should be crisp. Very nice and crisp. With a nice juicy center. A nice juicy center right in the middle. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting turned on. <laughs> How old are you? Hey, how the hell old are you? How could you act like that? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's like when, when they shot a spider. De Niro looks at Joe Pesci and goes, what are you, crazy? What's wrong with you? You shoot the guy's kidding around, you shoot the guy? You shoot him? That was wrong with you. Hey, spider, here's a 20. Gives him a 20 for telling him to go F himself. Okay, see I'm gonna babysit it, even though it's been in one minute. Yeah, it's looking nice. You know what? It's still gonna keep it on low, but I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it up to, uh, hmm, broil, low. Time. Right, I gotta wait. I thought I could, oh, I could push the time up. Can't push the time up. I have to wait till the. I'm gonna do it another minute or two. I'm gonna check it. It's just not brown enough. It's still in the world of yellow. Crayola might call it burnt sienna. Remember burnt sienna? It, it was the color we used to call it the Crayola shit color. It was this brown that looked like duty, and it was in the '64 pack. I'll check it in another minute. Another thing, you ever wonder why your mother picks certain products and not others? Like my mother always used Tide. Why Tide? I mean, a good product, I'm sure she liked it, cleaned the clothes, but why? Did she try nine different products? 
There was one that blew my mind. It was called Duz. That's the name of a product, D-U-Z, Duz, laundry detergent. Anybody remember Duz? And it came with a towel in it. There was a towel in the box. So there was no Duz in the box. It was just a towel. It was like, like what, like 25% Duz and a towel. Bought that shit. Why, why, Colgate, Crest. I'm a Crest guy. I just don't like Colgate. Why? I don't even know. All right. I'll wait till it hits one minute and then check it. Come on, baby, come on. Come to Richie. Richie needs a new pair of shoes. I'm gonna check it. Oh, it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna leave it in for that one extra minute. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's brown and bubbling. It's so beautiful. You're gonna love it. Oh man, I wish you could taste it. I'm gonna take it out. Yeah, leave it in. 24 seconds. One time I told you I made it and the top was really nice and crisp and the middle was dry. That's the thing. The thing is the thing and that's the thing. You don't want it to be dry in the middle. Nobody likes anybody who's dry in the middle. <laughs> so it's my job. It's my job, if I'm good at what I do, to make it wet in the middle, right? All right, I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, this is what it looks like. I might have uh, Jake come in, except he'll hate the jalapeno peppers. So this is what it looks like. Okay, you can see the blueberries. It's a nice crisp top. Let me feel it. Oh yeah. Now if the middle is moist, I did my job. If not, I screwed up, but I still showed you how to make it so you don't have to screw up. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you want to bite that? Wouldn't you like to taste that? <laughs> All right, how am I gonna get it out? Oh man, I hope it didn't stick. What instrument will I get it out with? I will get it out with this broken. Is that good? No. Okay. Uh, what will I get this out? I got a really good idea, actually. A flat part of a spoon around the outside. Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm doing? Taking a flat part of a spoon around the outside. Okay, now, boy, that tastes good. Wow. Let's see, I, let's see if I can plate it. I love to say plate it. Let me try to plate it without dropping it on the floor again. Ah, man, this is bugging me out. So what I might do, what I actually might do, is see if I can just turn it like this and get it out like that. Because I, I don't want to be on TV breaking it. Hey, you don't got to turn it around again. There you go. It's piping hot. I want to take a bite. You know what? That's not the way it belongs. That's not the way Manitoba will have it. So I will replay it the way it's supposed to be. 
Stay like that, thinking on your feet. Okay, I'm gonna try to just cut a little piece because I'm on a diet and I gotta watch my beautiful new self. So we'll take a little piece like this and see how it came out. Just taking a little piece. A sliver! Just give me a sliver! It's really hot. It's perfect. It's really good. The inside tastes like a really moist cake. And the outside has that little crunch I was looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the chef of the future, handsome big Manitoba, making cornbread with jalapeno peppers, cream corn, whole cream, and blueberries. Try the recipe. You'll like it. Next week, I'm going to tell you in advance, I'm going to give you my morning meal. I've designed it with the right amount of fat, calories, carbohydrates, like it's a, it's, a, it's a meal. It's a liquid meal and I drink some of it. Sometimes I'll come home and just have a little cup of it because the whole thing, it's not like you're adding hundreds and hundreds of calories. The whole thing is like 350 or 400 calories. So next week, tune in for Hanson Dick Manitoba's breakfast, liquid breakfast, okay? Thank you. Don't forget, go to handsomedickmanitoba.com. Check out Keeping Me Going. I love you all. Mwah.